thought I'd do a, I was going to say a quick video, but it's probably going to be a really long video on my record collection. Um, I got a record player for Christmas, uh, Christmas of 2013, and I've been collecting records ever since, and I've collected quite a lot of records. So let's get into this and try and make this as quick as possible. First record I got is Arctic Monkey's Favourite Worst Nightmare, Nightmare which um, it's probably the first fr the first record I heard of them. So I absolutely love Arctic Monkeys and I would love to go and see them in concert. Again, another Arctic Monkeys. I got uh, this one, uh, Humbug. So I just got this one with that one. I usually get all my records from somewhere in Cheltenham, which do them quite cheap. So I got a U2 uh, live album, which has only got two sides on it, but um, two songs on it. And it is quite damaged because it's vintage, but I absolutely love U2. Um, another record I got is the vaccines and um, i only got into the vaccines from my friend uh mary who made me listen to them when i was do, uh, like doing some art and no i actually really liked them so i bought i bought their records so i could listen to them at home uh this one is a present from my friend from christmas and i got an iron maiden album but i was really disappointed when i found, uh, when i played went to play it because it's got quite a lot of scratches on it so it jumps from time to time but it's still sort of this uh listener is still sort of listenable. Listenable? Is that a word? So another one I got, which is one I actually got with my record player, is a Nirvana album. I was really happy with this one because it is the in, um, in Utero, I think it is, the 2013 mix. But I really, I really enjoy Nirvana and they're probably one of my favourite bands. This is one I was really happy to come across when I went into a charity shop. Is the Rocky Horror Picture Show album. So it's got like Neat Loaf in it and I absolutely love the rock horror show and i went in the theater with my dad and she didn't enjoy it as much but i really enjoyed this one another one i haven't actually listened to yet i'm really excited to listen to is the morrissey album which has got what i think six, uh, 12 songs on it which is always good this one i actually waited a month to get because i wanted to get the um the re print of it like the remasters of it and it's the specials the two-tone one which is probably my favorite album of like all time because i really really love this is england and their songs feature quite a lot in it so this one is wings it's got like paul mccartney and i only bought it because it had paul mccartney in it and i think i've listened to it twice so i'm not that keen on some of the songs but i bought this one because i love love white stripe and it's a seven inch vinyl um and it's got a blue orchard um, blue orchard and the nurse on it which is the two favorite songs from from white stripe next one is the jam and it's snap uh, this one actually my dad bought me so i was really excited to get um because it's got loads of like it's just got all the typical like you, uh, the jam songs on and the next one i got i actually bought on an impulse because i was looking for the black keys bbc recordings album so but i could only find the black keys rubber factory and we had a, quite a lot of the songs on from that on that um from the other record so i bought this one i just on impulse and i really enjoyed the album next one i got is the beatles revolver i listened to this one actually at my friend's house and i really really i don't know i had a real blonde moment where i could not picture the band who was singing it and my friend told me that it was the beatles i was like oh yeah so i went straight out and bought revolver another charity shop find is west side story I haven't listened to this one yet but west side story is something i studied quite a lot when i was um in secondary school so that one i thought would be really nice to buy next one is my most recent purchase is uh legends the best of bob marley and the whalers which i've been listening to a lot lately because i love three little birds it's like it is probably well i've said i probably said i have about probably 10 all-time favorite songs but this is another one of my all-time favorite songs another one i got is uh, the big come up bought this one when i was in london uh which i said in my previous video which i think must be my first video another one i've got which i've also mentioned before is definitely maybe by oasis uh both of the well the black keys and oasis i got from urban outfittery now this one i had to have shipped in from america because i was trying to find it everywhere and it's the black keys bbc sessions and it's just a couple, like a mix of all my favorite black keys songs and it was the perfect album and i listen to it like all the time on my ipod and when i'm at home with my record player i listen to it constantly another one is the classic meatloaf bat out of hell probably starting to see that i have quite a mixed 
taste in music, going from like the Beatles to Meatloaf to Arctic Monkeys, the Black Keys, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's quite, yeah, I've quite got a mix. The other one is the Beatles for sale. This one's called. And again, this is the same story. I'm trying to think of the band that was singing, and this one is another one. Again, another one of Arctic Monkeys. This was actually the first Arctic Monkeys one I bought, uh, and I really enjoyed this one. Oh my god, I can't remember the name of this one. I think it's a certain romance. Yeah, certain romance this is called. Then I all I got Lizzie Bad Rep uh, Reputation, which is one I got for my birthday, which I was really happy to get. Um I've got the Kinks because I absolutely love You Really Got Me. It's such a classic song and when it came onto an advert once, I was really happy about it. Again, Another Arctic Monkeys, which is the Suck It and See, really small. Um, I, I don't know why I bought this one. I think I think I saw it and I had this. I don't know. I kept on thinking that I really wanted to get all the Arctic Monkey albums. I'm probably never going to, but I just yeah. I think I bought it on impulse. I haven't listened to it that much, but I'll probably be listening to it very soon. Another album I got is the Smiths, which is another all-time favourite one of mine. So I love Panic and um, like There Is A Light That Never Goes Out which I don't think actually is the name of the song but I really enjoy this one again another Arctic Monkeys album but so this one oh my god I can't is Am well A-M or how they pronounce it but I really again I really enjoy Arctic Monkeys they are one of my favourite bands of all time and I think that's, that's great to have in my collection another Smiths is um, Hateful of Hollow, which I think I bought this one before I bought this one and I wasn't, I was really annoyed that they didn't have some of the songs that I wanted on it. Then I bought this one and it's just a collection of loads of songs, I don't know if you can see that. They have so many songs on it because it's got uh, two records in it, it's a double record collection. Um, so I was really, I was really good, glad when I bought that one. And then my final album is It's Hard by The Who. Um, I've only listened to this one a couple, a couple of times because I wasn't sure whether I'd like it or not, but I actually do like it. So that was, that's quite an enjoyable album. And I do have one more, which is another seven inch one, but it's quite like damaged. And uh, this is uh, Queen. It's got Radio Gaga and I Go Crazy on it. So I really have to get that one. So guys, that was my record collection. Um, that was a super quick video, just going through everything. If you do like this video at, or you want to share with me um, like some of your record uh, collections, please either like um, or subscribe down below and send me a message and show me some of the music you're into. So thank you guys, see you soon.